subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello and herzlich willkommen bei Titi International in St. Ingbert. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, I'm taking you back to our favorite consignment store in Germany, Titi International in St. Ingbert. And it's snowing today. We found some great treasures here on the last visit and we are looking for some more great finds today. Join me. It's the winter edition of our favorite consignment store in the Saarland. Come on inside with me and we'll discover some fantastic finds. They have just about everything except the kitchen sink. And one day I'm sure I'll find that here too. And I like that they have a nice mix of furniture, tabletop, and some great gifts beautiful furnishings and remember that people bring these items in to consign perhaps they're liquidating their parents estate the crystal the china silver we're going to see it all today and even lighting wear you can find some great lamps and this bowl here i meant to take home and i forgot it's Huchenreuter from Zelp, and that is made in bavaria Welcome back to Titi International. I'm seeing lots of great finds here, antiques, vintage, some mid-century as well. And the prices are amazing. Look at this Hutschenreuter with a beautiful aqua floral design, 20 euros. That's about $22. Beautiful Hutschenreuter back stamp. There's lots to discover here. I'm gonna take off my thrifted mink coat from the Trigger Center, get comfortable and show you around. You do find a lot of variety of European manufacturers under one roof. This is made in Hungary, the same country that gives us hair and China. The crystal punch bowl is stunning. Remember, you can use these pieces separately. My mother-in-law serves salad in a shallow dish. This would be perfect for a party. She dresses it up with shrimp and other items. It's not just a green salad. And the cups can be used for fruit or chilled soup. And that deep vessel, you could even place a pillar candle inside. So many ways to utilize this set. Punch sets in Germany are called a Bulle, and they are used for warm alcoholic beverages in the winter, which fits very well with our snow today. This looks to be a hand cut, could possibly be machine cut crystal, definitely European, and a wonderful addition to your tabletop collection. A nice variety of furniture, including a leather tufted sofa, beautiful china cabinets that would be perfect to display the blue and white pattern here. Isn't that lovely? You'll see that modern design in the teacup. And they're priced separately. You have a trio of a cake plate, cup, and saucer. It's made by the Heinrich Company, which was purchased by Villeroy und Boch. Priced at about 22 US dollars, 20 euros. Let's turn it over and look at the back stamp. Lumina Blau. I love this pattern with that mid-century touch. For 99 euros, you could have this floral pattern. They keep some very special items inside here. I didn't ask for the key because there's just so much I can share with you today. Maybe next time we'll take a closer look inside. These are fine pieces. Meissen, 95 euros, which is about $100. That clock we saw last time, that is still here, which probably means that it's reduced. They do a really good job of lowering the price if it's been there longer. And they do have sales periodically. And I'm sure that you could talk with them about a piece that maybe has been there for a while. And this is on sale for 
and they still have their sign up from Black Friday, even though it's passed. And this is a very unique piece that has an interesting history. It's not something that you see often, even at flea markets. There is such detail here and some interesting sayings, and I'll tell you more about it. And look at the use of color. This boule is made by Villois und Boch in nearby Medlach. And you'll see that it is made of earthenware, not the fancy crystal. This is definitely an older piece. It's very well priced at 100 euros. I've seen these go for well over 300 on the secondary market. The lid of this Rumtopf is quite beautiful. Lots of detail and it has cities depicted here. Ingelheim, including Bernkastel, Rüdesheim, which is a popular tourist destination. Such detail. And you know, we have to look at the back stamp. The castle back stamp that is impressed into this piece was discontinued in 1900. I would say this is probably from the late 1800s. And you'll notice that they have some sayings here. For example, ein guter Trunk macht alle jung. So a good drink makes everybody young. Das Leben Sonnenschein ist trinken und fröhlich sein. The sunshine of life is drinking and to be happy. Lots of inspirational messages here on this Rumtopf. You can tell this is a much older piece that has seen a good life. And it can still add beauty to your home. It could be a beautiful centerpiece used with or without the base. You could probably even chill a few bottles of wine inside for a party. Just love that it has all those sayings on the platter. And now we're entering one of my favorite sections that has some great dinnerware from one of my favorite manufacturers. I'm always discovering new to me patterns that have been retired for years. I first started going to Metlach in the 1980s. So things that are a bit older, I've either seen at flea markets or at some of my favorite consignment stores. Welcome to the world of dishes. They've got lots of great manufacturers, including Villeroy und Boch, which is headquartered just down the road in Medlach, Germany. The company started in 1748, and this is my pattern, Burgenland Blau from 1926. We've got cabinets full at our home here in Germany. It's not all about the V&B. There is another German manufacturer represented here on this wall. One that actually is on my shopping list today, Rosenthal. And I found a plate at a flea market last visit for one euro in this pattern. And I'm pleased to find this today. And I'll tell you more about why I'm looking for this, especially on sale. And I must admit that I'm on a mission today. I have two friends that are actively looking for more pieces to their pattern. One is the Rosenthal Classic Rose, and they happen to have it here. And some of these pieces are actually 40% off. This is called a Café Gedeck because it is just what you need to set your coffee table with a dessert plate, cup, and saucer. It is 24 euros minus 40%. And tax is always included already in the price. And my friend Ilmgad is also looking for some extra cups, and this one is five euros. This is another pattern that's often confused for Burgenland, and it's actually called Fazan. It is similar to Burgenland in some ways, I do see the connection. And this back stamp is from the 80s. Fazan means pheasant in German. And that red transferware goes with so many different seasons, I absolutely love it. Here's another pattern that was popular in the 1980s. Another pattern that is very well loved, Wildrose from Villeroy und Bach. It is Wild Rose. It was made from 1968 to 2018, which we know the Desert Rose from the Franciscan Company predates this pattern. I like to think of it as inspiring the Villeroy und Bach design. My friend Theresia recently inherited this pattern from her sister, and I'm looking to add some pieces for her. My friend has created an inventory list of this pattern that she's recently acquired, and that is also helpful for me to know which pieces she still needs, and the price is right. 
13 euros. This back stamp looks to be from the late 70s, early 80s. And you'll notice they even made linens in some of these popular patterns. And then we have the very practical Frühstücksbrett, which you can use for toast or for the evening meal, which is bread with butter and usually a light dinner. The creamer I find to be very practical to use for all kinds of sauces, even a salad dressing. And that's a very good price at six euros fifty. Glad to find these pieces for my friend Theresia. She was looking for two of the tea time place settings, Café Gedeck, and one creamer, Milchkenschen. And the prices are very good. And you don't have to order the secondary market and pay shipping and everything is in great condition. A very modern twist to Heinrich, which of course was acquired by Villeroy and Boch. This is a Mocha Gedeck, which is basically an espresso set in the pattern called Happy Seasons. I've not seen this before, although I have seen that shape with other patterns that they have made. The ivy is very familiar to me. My mother had the Franciscan ivy. We ate off of that every meal. And this is a fine porcelain version. Just love it. Made by Hutschenreuter, another German manufacturer. And these look to be brand new, never used. And the reticulated dishes are extra special. If I had more room in my cabinets in Germany, I think I would have taken this home. In fact, I wish I would have, because that would pair nice with my Cellini white from Beloit und Boch. A Buchteller is a reticulated plate. And the Stöfchen, to keep your tea or coffee warm, is extra special at 14 euros. It's hard to find in any pattern made today. In fact, I would venture to say that no manufacturer makes these, at least Villeroy and Boch no longer does. A 1950s piece here could be early 60s. My mother-in-law has a few pieces with the polka dots. It reminds her of her childhood, and I think that's fun and whimsical. You could shop here for hours just looking in the dish department. A rather masculine look here. That has the Heinrich design, you can tell in the black pearl. It'd be a nice underplate for a creamer as well. I was heading over to the silver plated flatware when I saw some more Borgeland pieces. And since we have such an extensive collection, I'm not really looking to add anything unless I find an unusual piece. And these cake servers stopped me in my tracks. A pair of Borgeland Blau, Villera und Boch cake or pie servers. These are fantastic. Look at all of that detail. And they are very well priced at eight euros and it's got a beautiful back stamp. I am over the moon excited to add these to my Bougainland Blue collection. These each have a separate design. I'm delighted to have found these offset pie servers and I did leave them at our home in Germany for future entertaining. Now let's take a look at silver plated flatware. This is a staple in German households, especially up through maybe the 80s. And VMF is one company that made many different patterns. We'll take a closer look at some of these pieces and patterns. Germany was known for a lot of great silver makers, including VMF. And they often have complete sets here, some of which have never even been used in the original packaging. And when I'm looking at silver plated pieces or sterling, I'm always considering a soup or punch ladle. Doesn't have to match your pattern. This one is 45 euros and could use a good polishing. That is just one idea when you're out shopping for silver. This mid-century set is well priced at 99 euros. You will notice on the knife blade it says Rost frei, which means stainless steel. That is a really interesting pattern that can be trendy again. I'm often looking for silver plated pie servers at flea markets and consignment stores. They're well priced and it's nice to build an affordable collection. Of course, you can mix and match patterns as well. I'm interested in this new in a box set of pastry forks, and it looks like there's something missing. Perhaps it was a sugar shell. And let's turn it over and see the price. It is nine euros. I think that's a fair price. 
My friend Lydia has been looking for pastry forks. I think I will take these back to Texas for her. And you will see the design. It has a thicker edge. And that's handy when you're cutting your pastries. Traditionally, they actually had knives with pastry sets. And there's the back stamp for that silver plate. 100. I will put that with my purchases here at the front. You can see all my treasures so far and so much more to discover. It's a sea of dishes. Everyone's dream. And the prices really are amazing. Traditional patterns, lots of florals. And the blue and white just goes with every season. It reminds me of the blue Danube. 15 euros for the coffee gedeck. Let's look at that back stamp. Hochenreiter, made in Bavaria. I especially like the florals. Hochenreiter for 8 euros. In the Dresden pattern, you could just pick up six plates and add that to your white dishes. The green is very soothing. I like the touches of gold. 45 euros for the coffee pot. And there's a teapot. That's actually hard to find in some of these patterns because in Germany, they mostly drink coffee. 25 euros for the trio. And this is Rosenthal in the Pampadur pattern. Made in Zeb, Bavaria. And now we have a touch of England. Look at this transferware. It is colorful. And the price is a lot better. 10 euros for the trio. It's the Mayotte's Country Life with hand engraved English scenes. You'll notice it says permanent colors. That means you can probably put it in the dishwasher. Look at the vibrant yellow, touches of red, green, and blue. And here's a classic look. It is a timeless pattern. Seven euros fifty. What an amazing deal for a porcelain gravy boat made by Heinrich and Company, the Luisenburg Gold. Twelve euros fifty for that platter. These are basic staples that could dress up your holiday table or any time of the year. A vibrant cobalt in gold. Of course, one look, and I'm thinking China Baroque. They could create a lovely bracelet or pendant in this pattern, and it has. Two holes there for hanging on the wall. It is Echt Kobalt. When shopping at consignment store, it's not always about your dish pattern or perhaps your full up in your cabinets. You can also find an accent piece. This is a striking plate made by the Heinrich Company, which was acquired by Villeroy & Bach in 1980. It is the Hofgarten pattern. And it's got some beautiful birds here. Look at that combination. And it is the Echt Kobalt beautiful Heinrich back stamp. It's priced at 18 euros, which is about $20. That would make a great statement piece on an entry table, even on an easel. Love the transferware, and this is a very old pattern, and I see an unusual piece. The Rustikana pattern from Villeroy & Bach looks great against a snowy backdrop, doesn't it? My friend Theresia also has this pattern, and I think she's got enough pieces, but the one item I have never seen on her coffee table is a Stöfchen or Réchaud. It's a warmer for 20 euros. These are hard to find and it's very practical. You could even use this for a casserole dish. It doesn't have to just be for a coffee or teapot. You place a tea light candle in the center, put this on top and place your coffee teapot or perhaps serving dish and it keeps it warm on the table, great for serving, and Vivre & Bois doesn't make these anymore for newer patterns. On a snowy day like this, I wish I had some hot tea to go along with our shopping trip with all these beautiful teacups. Wustikana was a very popular pattern in the 70s and 80s. I do see it often at flea markets. It's especially nice to find the unusual pieces, sometimes even miniature versions. I found a tea for one in this pattern that I brought to Theresia on a previous visit. Just love it. And who doesn't enjoy transferware? It tells a story on your table. And this size is meant for a Königsrolle. I find it practical even for meat. 
for 10 euros, we have the Bourguignon Blue version in this, and we use it for pancakes, for chicken, just about anything you can imagine. The beautiful crystal. And you'll see how affordable it is here. 45 euros. That would be probably $125 at least at an antique store. This is 20% off of 15 euros. Now that is a deal. Look at that fluted edge. If I needed an extra vase, I would take this home and I probably should have just to use as a gift. One of those German punch sets. We see these at the flea markets. Oftentimes castles are depicted and it's even on the handle. That's an interesting set. Five euros for a Heinrich base. Wow, this is definitely the place. And I will include their information in the video description. If you happen to be in Germany, if you're planning a trip, you definitely want to pay them a visit. This is an interesting plate from Rosenthal. Weihnachten, Christmas 1977, and it is a special collection. I have some pieces I bought at the Bluebird Circle in Houston recently, also Christmas plates from Rosenthal. What a striking piece. Again, wonderful to put on your entry table. The cut to clear for 15 euros for this Rueba glass. Oh, perfect for a Christmas table. I might have to take this home too. I do like to mix the ruby and emerald for the holidays, but I do think the jewel tones would show nicely as well. Perhaps next year I can feature those colors. You can take a look at a previous segment where I welcome you into our German home and I showcase my red and green cut to clear glasses. Interesting furniture piece here. Look at all of that hand carving. It's right at 3,000 euros. It is from Bretagne, the Brittany area of France. And this is a familiar look you've seen me feature at the Belleville, Texas antique shop. Nothing ordinary. They have a nice variety and the prices are incredible here. Lots of Steingut, German pottery. We've seen some examples of this at Nothing Ordinary Antiques in Belleville. You can't beat the prices here. Three euros 50 for this pitcher. That's under four dollars. And some of these pots are used for storing items and even fermenting cabbage to make sauerkraut. We have a collection at our home here in Germany and we know that something practical is close at hand and we need it. These are a fraction of the cost here compared to the United States, but then again, the antique sellers have to ship them and that does add a lot to the cost. They're so practical and pretty in my favorite shade of blue. You could even use this as a utensil holder. A Villa Unbach lamp in the Payol pattern. You probably recognize this from our home tour where we have a floor vase and some other pieces in our front entryway. And Wedgwood also made some lamps, and I will say that they didn't quite get it right with the shades. They're a bit off, but this you could easily put a new shade on. You probably would want to do so anyway, and that is quite an interesting find. You have to use your imagination when you're out thrifting when you see a piece like this. Of course, first of all, you have to imagine it with a more updated shade. But place this in your entry, side table, even a guest bedroom, and think of the colors you could pull from this very lamp and it would be a showpiece and anchor the room. This is a practical piece of furniture with some great storage. Look at all those doors. You could even place some pretties there up top. We have a very similar piece. The prices are absolutely unbelievable with the antique furnishings. This is an Henri II, Henry II great storage this could anchor your room and they have a black friday special of course it's past that date but since they have the sign they're probably still honoring it down to 270 euros that is about 300 dollars can you just imagine finding this in the united states not possible you get the best deals here what a great piece 
Here's another lamp that could use your imagination with a different shade. The very traditional Kaisa Porzellan design with those swan handles. It looks like it's been adapted. Or perhaps they had a lighting wear division for a while. 75 euros. I think that's a really pretty piece if you change the shade. Welcome to the Wall of Crystal. If you're looking to expand your tabletop collection or companies coming and you need some more glasses, make sure to shop your local consignment or thrift store. You're going to find a better quality, better prices, and your guests will know the difference, at least in quality, because your table will be stunning. And the prices are incredible here. You can even find cut to clear, modern, mid-century, heavily cut, and everything in between. It's a wall of crystal. Lots of possibilities here. You could certainly choose one style for after dinner drinks. It does not have to match your pattern. These can even be used for desserts. And you could certainly fill it with candy. Lots of possibilities here and the price is right. I would love to hear about your recent finds with glassware. If you haven't already joined us on our Facebook group page, Lady Mary Beth's Table, I encourage you to do so. There's a link in the video description. Look at these continental flutes. And that is not per piece. That's a set of eight for 30 euros. Aren't they stunning? I think that they look very contemporary. They don't look dated at all. What a classic look and such a fair price too. And when you see the price, you probably at first glance think it's 20 euros for each glass, but it's actually for a set of six. That is a very good deal and such craftsmanship here. You can't go to any new box store today and find anything for this price that's even half the quality. If your cabinets are full, perhaps you can take another look. Maybe there are some that you don't use often or some that are maybe from your original wedding registry for your everyday. I find that those everyday glasses from box stores don't really hold up. We've gone through so many different sets and now we have over 100 year old glasses that we use every day and we put them in the dishwasher. This is a V&B pattern, connoisseur, that we have at our home there. And this is gorgeous. Look at these, a set of five for seven euros 50. Wow. Yes, that would make a great gift too. Love it. The glasses go on for miles. Five cut crystal champagne flutes for seven euros 50. This could be incorporated into a gift. Pair two glasses with your favorite bubbly and you've got something elegant and affordable or use it for your entertaining. You just can't beat these deals. Let's have a look at some heavy metal. This is something that we don't usually talk about, but sometimes you do see it out thrifting in Germany or at flea markets. And it's something that's actually quite practical and very representative of Germany. Pewter is a high-end souvenir often found in Germany. It depicts landmarks or cities. And there's an interesting history behind pewter and why we use it and how to identify it. I'll tell you all about it. Let's take a look at the back stamp that will give us lots of information. Etain, we'll talk more about that in just a bit. And this is made in Portugal. Pewter is very practical. In Nuremberg, which is a wonderful German city, they serve Nuremberger Würstchen, little sausages on tin plates. These cups could also be practical. You could even fill them with pretzels, the pretzel sticks you find in Germany. Stixies, two euros. Or you could hold a toothbrush in it. I really like the idea of adding just one to a bookshelf with some silk flowers. This is quite intricate. What a find. Since lead was banned because of its harmfulness, a lot of pewter products became popular and there's a way to identify it. It will have the number 95 on the back stamp. That means that it is made of 95% tin. In Italy, you will see Petro. In France, Etain. In German, Tin. And of course, pewter in English countries. And this is a really great piece. It's priced at 45 euros. 
lots of these big heavy cabinets. I think that in modern German homes they look for more of the lighter woods and maybe they don't have the tall ceilings and many folks will bring them to the consignment store and that's where you get the best deals on these big cabinets. Right at 1500 euros and that is also from the Bretagne from northern France. Mid-century contact paper, I would definitely remove that, of course. It's not original to the piece. This is a very elegant look, and it's already sold. That's a piece of furniture you could put in a bedroom entryway just about anywhere for 225 euros, and they call it a honey-colored wood. Fantastic. There are two pieces here that stop me in my tracks. This beautiful piece of furniture and the brass candelabra. Let's talk about this furniture, 225 euros. It is already sold. We have someone's name here and this is fantastic, great storage. I just cannot imagine passing this up. If I had room in my home here in Germany, I would definitely be adding this. And I'm sure that someone will use this for the wonderful storage and for a statement piece for their home. This brass candelabra is quite stunning. I thought about buying this, but we already have some at our home and I just don't think that our low ceilings on the second floor dining room would work as well with this tall piece. 150 euros, it is a showstopper. Just love everything about it. This stunning candelabra is in the Louis Seiz style. It was made in the 1950s by an Italian company, Brevitato. And we know this because it has a BB as part of the hallmark. It's priced at 150 euros, and I have seen a very similar one for 500 euros on the secondary market. And it is quite a heavy piece. Join me in this back room that has lots of great deals. We have some vintage cake stands for amazing prices, beer steins, and lots of dishes. No surprise. Let's take a look. It's easy to overlook this room. The first time I visited Titi Internationale, I actually didn't see this area. And there's even a downstairs that's open certain times of the month. So much to discover. And here we have just a little bit of everything. Beer steins are highly collectible. Most tourists pick these up in Germany. It's called a Bierkrug. This one has lots of detail. No back stamp, and that's Munich, München. You know I'm all about the cake stands. You can find lots of pressed glass. Many of these have come from France as well. We find them at flea markets. What a great price. Look at this piece. Seven euros fifty would make a great gift. It's that bottom shelf advantage again. We found this vintage glass cake stand for seven euros fifty. That would fit just about any cake you pick up at one of the bakeries here. And what a wonderful addition to your tabletop collection. I just love cake stands. You can stack them. And another favorite find here today are some small crystal dishes. I find these in vintage glass as well. Six euros for six of these bowls. These are quite practical. Many German households in the mid-century had these. We've got quite a few at our home. And we mostly use them for ice cream. You can also serve a poached pear dessert. I just had Vilna Helena yesterday at my mother-in-law's and she served in these shallow dishes. You just can't go anywhere retail and find something as nice. And the Zwiebelmusta, that blue and white pattern that is iconic. Beautiful plates for five euros each. You could even take one to display it. Oh, I just can't get enough of this fantastic blue and white. Kala is the back stamp. I'm not familiar with that company. I will have to do my research. The snow is so exciting. I hope I can get home. I'm not used to driving in this weather. The fish plates are also highly collectible. You find these in American antique stores. 15 euros each. Mitateich from Bavaria. 
You can find fish plates sometimes at flea markets as well. Look at all these beer steins. Bierkrüge. Very simple ones as well. Bierkrüge, or beer steins as we call them, are very popular for souvenirs that you might pick up. But they also work well for table decor. If you're wanting to create a rustic setting or something with a nod to nature, these fish beer signs would be fantastic. They're priced at two euros each and quite a variety of these. Here's some more of those glass plates. 10 euros for a set of six. You've got another great gift idea and they're perfect for side salads. You can do so much with these. Look at these wine glasses, very traditional German collectible. And that has not been used. It still has the original sticker on it. Those are fantastic. Böckling. I have not heard of that company. I don't think they exist anymore. A mid-century saucer champagne. It reminds me of the Alana cut from Waterford Crystal. Look how they sparkle. I would buy these for dessert dishes. Chocolate mousse, one scoop of vanilla ice cream with a chocolate sauce. Teapots and coffee pots. This would be a nice way to dress up your white dish pattern. You could even choose a certain era. That's mid-century in the traditional blue and white. This snow is such fun. Coming from coastal Texas, it's not something we see very often. And another item that I don't see too often is a Stöfchen, warmer or Recho. We looked at this earlier in the Rusticana pattern from Velour and Bach. This is six euros. And I consider this to be sort of a universal item because you have a broad space here and white goes with everything, of course. Fill it with a tea light for six euros and this will fit just about any pattern you have. My car is getting covered in snow. It's definitely an exciting day. It'll be an interesting ride home. But if I get stuck, at least I'm with beautiful dishes and teacups. It's a great way to build a collection with many different patterns that can be cohesive because most of these are from the mid-century. You'll see a very specific design and style, including the shape for three euros 50. Zammetassen or collector's cups were popular in the mid-century. They were often referred to as Muttertagstassen, perhaps because they were gifted to moms on Mother's Day. This is three euros 50, and look at that green and gold, very unique pattern. And this is nice because you can mix different sets. It doesn't have to be just one style. It adds interest to your table, and you've got a trio, which is the cake plate, cup, and saucer. It's a great opportunity to build a collection because as you can see, many people are consigning these pieces from previous generations. It's unfortunate that they don't embrace it, but you know, there's a market for everything and it gives us an opportunity to shop affordably. Here is a variety, including a piece that I end up picking up at the last minute. I'll show you a little bit later. And some furniture that is also specific to the mid-century. Look at those curved legs. Reminds me a bit of Queen Anne. 75 euros. This style of furniture is often referred to as Chippendale. It has lots of the elements, including those curved legs. This is made of Nussbaumholz, which is walnut. It was very popular in the mid-century. In the 1960s, in German upscale homes, you would see this. And unfortunately, it is not appreciated today. You often find it donated or put out curbside on heavy trash day pickups. Priced at 75 euros, it has some good storage and would fit in just about any room of your home. Thank goodness we have a consignment store like Titi International so that folks can bring in these pieces instead of putting them out for trash. That is such a shame. I have heard that from many different friends. And this is a very affordable piece. And why not let someone else enjoy it? Here are some of my finds for the day. And some of these are going to my friends. In fact, most of these items are. Only a couple of things for myself. I'm thrilled to have some items to bring to my friends who are looking to add to their patterns. And what a nice surprise to find two offset 
pie servers in my Burgenland. These probably haven't been made since about the 1930s or 40s. It's definitely not something I ever see at a flea market. Found some great items today. So glad you joined me today for consignment shopping at Titi International in St. Ingbert. I found one more treasure as I was checking out. Steingut with a pewter lid with that Mazzi und Remy back stamp for seven euros 50. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with consignment shopping. <laughs>